Hi, my name is Todd Kosicki. Uh, welcome to my video on how to create a YouTube video for our TEL 313 classes. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you take your, your assigned readings, read them thoroughly, and then create your slideshow uh, of the main topics and ideas uh, for each reading. After that, what we're going to do is save that PowerPoint. Instead of just a PowerPoint, we're going to save it as images. To do that, you'll go to File, Save As. You're going to give your title, uh, your presentation a title uh, in the Save As box. Make sure it's something descriptive so that you can find it later. Uh, there's a drop-down menu called uh, Format. From there, you want to choose the JPEG or the GIF, uh, and both of those formats are uh, image files or picture files. And then make sure you choose a location that you can find later on. So I like to save it to the desktop. It's just easier for me to find it later on. Then click the Save button. So what's this going to look like? Well, if you minimize your uh, PowerPoint or you can just close right out of it, you'll see a new folder on the desktop if that's where you saved it. And it'll have the same name as, as what you titled it in the previous step. Uh, if you open up that folder, it's going to have one image for every slide that you created in your PowerPoint. So, for example, if you had 15 slides in your PowerPoint, you'll have 15 separate images. So now what you're going to do is open up Movie Maker, and to do that, it's usually going to be in your Start menu. So if, you'll, if you're on a PC, go to Start and programs and then you should see it's either Movie Maker or Windows Movie Maker. From there you'll see a, an import media items button or uh, you can just go into file and import media items. Uh, from there open up the PowerPoint folder, highlight all of the images and then click import. Now in the center of your screen is a media area of your uh, of the Movie Maker program. All of those images that you just imported should now show up there. You can take all of those images either by clicking on all of them or uh, clicking on one and then pressing Control A which will select them all and then drag them down into the storyboard. And whatever order that they're in they'll stay in that order which is nice. Okay, at this point, it's probably a good idea to save your movie. Um, same way as you save everything, go to File, Save As. Make sure you save it to a spot where you'll be able to find it later. Again, I like to use the desktop. Okay, now that you uh, have your pictures in there, um, make sure they're rearranged in the order that you want them. Uh, you're going to want to narrate your PowerPoint show. Now, for this activity, um, you're going to be using this audio here but uh, in the future you can narrate right in Movie Maker by going to Tools and then Narrate Timeline. Um, you can also click the Narration button. Then you want to go ahead and narrate your video uh, and then click the Stop Narration button when you're finished. Uh, after you put, uh, stop the narration, it's going to ask you if you want to save that audio. Uh, make sure you save that somewhere, again, convenient so that you can find it later. This is saving it as a separate file, just your audio file, so that you can use that later on if you if you want to. Okay, again, save your work. Uh, if you've already saved it as a file name, then you can just click the Save button or File Save. For this activity, uh, I already created the audio for you, so you can import it the same way that you imported uh, the images by clicking the Import Media button, finding the audio uh, file that I created for you, and then uh, opening that one or importing that one into your movie. Okay, now that you have your pictures in and you have your audio in, uh, it's time to clean it up a little bit. You can go through um, on the timeline view and drag your images, uh, the length of the images, to make them longer or shorter, shorter so that they line up with your audio. It's real easy to do that. Just click on the edge and you'll, it'll change, uh, the cursor will change to another little icon and then you can just click, hold down and drag back and forth. Okay, again, save your work. Real important to save. Uh, video is probably the 
most time-consuming thing to, to work on. And if you lose even a few minutes of, of video, you're going to be pretty frustrated. So just get in the habit of saving often. Next, uh, it might be a good idea to add some transitions to your video. And what this will do is make a nice clean uh, movement from one slide to the next slide. Uh, makes it look a little sharper, uh, but that's completely up to you. That's, that's something a little bit uh, extra that you may or may not want to include. Uh, to do that, you want to make sure you're in storyboard view. Now, uh, previously when we were editing the images and adding uh, narration, we were in timeline view. Uh, there is a little uh, button right above where the timeline is that you can change it between storyboard and timeline view. To add the transitions, you'll want to be in storyboard view. Then you'll click on that transitions link. Uh, there should be a transitions link on the left side uh, with a menu with a whole bunch of other choices. Click on transition and you'll see a bunch of the different transitions that you can play around with. Uh, when you find one that you like, just drag it into the space between the two images. Again, save your work. Okay, so now if you are happy with what you've done, uh, you can preview it. There is a preview window on the right side of Windows Movie Maker that allows you to take a look at all or pieces of your movie. So uh, go ahead and click on the play button, watch your video, and see if there are any changes you want to make. Um, if not, and you're satisfied with the way your movie looks, you're ready to publish. There's a couple different ways you can publish your video. Uh, first, there is a publish movie button on the top of your screen. Uh, if you don't see that, then you can also always go to File, Publish Movie. Once you do that, you'll get a new screen. Uh, make sure that you click on the Select This Computer button or choice and then click Next. The next thing you'll want to do is give the file a name and where you want to save it to. Again, desktop is probably the easiest to find. Then click Next. The last thing you're going to want to do is just make sure that the uh, Choose Best Quality button is selected. And after that's done, go ahead and click Publish. Now, it's going to take a few minutes for uh, minutes or seconds for the movie to publish, depending on the size. So you'll see a uh, progress bar moving across your screen. Just go ahead and wait for that to be finished. Uh, once that is done, your movie is published, and you can save and close out a movie maker uh, and then go ahead and look for your video uh, again if you saved it on desktop it should be pretty easy to find uh, right on the desktop uh, otherwise if you saved it somewhere else make sure you just search and find your video once you have found the video just double click on it make sure that it opens up okay and that it starts to play uh, when you're satisfied that it's it's running and it's ready to go then just close right out of it the next thing you're going to want to do, and the last thing, is you're going to upload to YouTube. Now, um, if you already have a YouTube account, then you can uh, just go right to YouTube, sign in, and uh, there's a yellow upload video button. Otherwise, go ahead and create a, a new YouTube account, and then you can upload your video from there. Okay, after you successfully uploaded your video, make sure to send me a link to that video so that I can watch it. I'm also going to ask for a copy of the file uh, myself so that I can upload it to a, uh, a new account that I created just for our TEL 313 videos. Okay, once you have sent me the link or the file to your video, then you have finished. Hopefully it wasn't too hard. Congratulations on creating your first YouTube video through Movie Maker.